Hey everyone, it's Lindsay from My Crafty Plants. Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. Today I am going to be doing a plan with me in the Moxie Life flagship horizontal. This is going to be a weekly plan with me for the week of February 13th, aka Valentine's Day. So this video is instead of my weekly planning routine video for this week. I'm really excited to be sharing with you this little different slice of my planning routine. It's Friday the 10th while I'm filming this and we are actually headed out of town for a long weekend and then we get back. When we get back, I have a pretty major work project. So because of that and some other stuff that I had to film, I decided to do go ahead and do this one where you'll get to see the whole weekly overview setup. So we're gonna set up the base today and then anytime I touch this planner throughout the week, I will turn the camera back on. That way you get to see my, the whole spread come together over the course of the week. I've done this a couple times before, but never in this planner so it should be pretty fun and also you all have really been loving the moxie life horizontal spread so i thought this would be the perfect week to do that i do have some really gorgeous valentine's day stickers picked out as well because you know i love a valentine's day spread i've already got my weekly actions done so this was last week in my week in my moxie life quarterly companion notebooks if you are wondering why i have two different moxie life planners when there are weekly actions in here i don't actually use this flagship weekly planner every week i just use this sometimes and i've got a ton of other weekly planners that I rotate that I rotate into the mix, but I do use the Moxie Life system for goal setting and I keep that in my companion notebooks. That way, no matter how many times I change planners, no matter how often I jump around throughout the year with my planners week to week, which I have been doing for my weekly overview spread, all of my goal setting stuff is stored in one place. So these were my weekly actions from last week. I got a lot of admin stuff down. It was a really successful week. We are headed into that ski weekend now. So later in this plan with me, you will probably get to hear some things about that, but I I do have my weekly actions set up for next week going very very simple I'm starting a really major work project next week and it's actually the first one that I've done that's this large in quite some time so I didn't want to bite off too much uh, but I have my reflections page set up and my weekly actions I will be transferring that over into my sidebar and talking more about that when we get to it so you won't miss out on any of the information but I did set that up and again that's probably going to be available as a reel and a YouTube short so stay tuned for that so here is what I have as far as stickers for this week. I have this absolutely gorgeous kit from Sadie Stickers. It's a journaling sticker kit on transparent matte paper and it is called Heart. It's Valentine's Day themes. So you have a two page kit here with some larger deco, all of the swatches, all of that kind of fun stuff. And then these floral stickles, stickers as well. I am just going to grab my pens and we can jump right in. So before I do any like deco setup or even jump into any plans, I actually wanna go ahead and set up the sidebar. That's just what I'm feeling this week. So I am gonna go ahead and start. I did the thing in my weekly actions this week where I used squares for tasks and hexagons for habits. So I have a pretty good list of habits here already set so I can work from that. And I'm gonna kinda go in order. Uh, so we're gonna do the morning room routine I'm blocking and then my afternoon planning routine which I call pending list uh, even though it's evolved from when I first started calling that to like a more full planning routine but that's totally fine then we've got the kids routines I'm adding water on I've had like a couple of migraines recently and dehydration is my biggest uh like migraine flare i don't believe there's some magic number of water that is going to take that away or anything like that but i just want to be drinking more water than i have been lately and then we've got the daily clean and my bedtime routine and very important to try and get to bed on time so a lot of these are like weekday only routines so i'm gonna go ahead and mark just start off oh actually we are gonna be on vacation on monday so i did not need that not ideal but we'll work with it i guess that also really means that i don't need like to do my regular morning routine on monday but that's fine monday we will definitely need a daily clean honestly it's daily we do it every day even on the weekends And I don't really have that many like tasks for this week because of the work stuff. We are going into another long weekend and actually my uh, 
my big kid has like a bunch of days off, so they have like a whole extended thing. I'm gonna use a few different colors on this just to kind of sort things. So we have, again, we're going into that long weekend. So we're gonna need plans for that. This, the, the tip on this mild liner is like so afraid. I definitely use the, these, I definitely use the bullet tip of the mild liner a lot. Uh, and other things that are in kind of like the fun and recreation category, mostly in my Moxie Life, but uh, that needs some organization. I am trying to work on some go wild prep and then some kiddo birthday planning. Then I have just like two head mini type things that need to be taken care of. So we can go ahead and put them in the same category. Although one is like a work admin thing, but it's, it's not gonna take a long time. Finally, mostly gonna be focused on this new consulting project. And again, it's been kind of a while since I've done a big consulting project. I've just been writing a lot more lately for work stuff. I think I'll just collect the whole thing in. Uh, and this is like related to my industry work. But I used to do a lot more consulting work, but you know, in the past like years, year or two year I've done more writing and less like projects okay so we'll decorate that up a little bit more in a minute let's take a look now okay so we can go pretty heavily decorated on Monday because uh, we're not gonna be home I am still gonna be away from the weekend before I did have a little mishap with a marker so I there's like a bunch of white out on here anyway so let's go ahead and just cover that up I feel like this is the sticker that we have to put on Tuesday. I want to cover a little bit more up on Monday. I'm really unhappy with what I did to to Monday with I was, had this like idea with a marker thing and it it did not work. We are still on vacation like I said and then I'm gonna use this one. And I've got a new pen for writing on these permanent markers, which is this Pilot Multiball. You do really have to let this dry, but uh, before because it does smear. But once it's dry, it works on it works on transparent matte and on um, the shinier stickers like Simply Gilded and also the transparent sticky notes. I think I'm gonna use some of these larger floral deco. When I'm on vacation, I don't really. It's not like I'm gonna need my my planner for a lot of stuff. And I think I just wanna, you know, utilize, take advantage of that. Uh, and then we can just kind of work with the space that we have. So these boxes I usually use for meal planning, which we will not have today, cause I'm not gonna do that probably until we get back from the trip, but you will get to see that cause you'll get to see everything in here. The things that I, do know though are we're gonna have like a nice morning then we're gonna drive back and then we will unpack and get all situated for the rest of the week but i still like i said have some stuff to do and i actually probably won't use a daily duo spread while we're all away because i'm not going to want to set that up so i'm just going to put everything in here so we will be driving back And then we'll have to do some of our weekend or like a modified version of our weekend usual so that we have lunches for the kids for school, get everything all ready. And then I actually will have just a teensy bit of work that I need to take care of as well uh, that I will we'll take care of. Then Tuesday is Valentine's Day. Uh, I am not like a big Valentine's person, but they are celebrating in my big kids school so in public school because we don't our preschool does not celebrate valentine's day she's gonna need to bring her cards but speaking of school maybe use this one with a teensy floral or actually on this balloon that's super cute my 
youngest who doesn't usually go to school on Tuesday is going to school on Tuesday because she's off gonna be off on Monday because our whole family is gonna be off so on Tuesday I think it's what I'm gonna have to do or what I'm gonna try and do is basically like a big admin catch-up the bits of the planning routine that usually come later in the weekend slash Monday and though no doubt laundry and again some of that may happen on Monday just depending on what time we get home but just in case it doesn't and then other than that it's gonna be time to dive into the work project I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then I'm gonna cover that with a little bit of color and I'm really gonna try and use time blocking throughout the week in my Erin Cudron in my daily duo to make sure that all of that kind of gets done also on Tuesday and Friday, which I actually think I'm going to put in the bottom of my meal planning section, I am going to have uh, videos up. And this one will be a planning, will have been a weekly planning routine. Kind of use that to divide the space there and then I'll put the meal plan in the top section whenever we get that. And I'm actually going to do the same thing on Friday. All right, so then on Wednesday, similar to Tuesday, I am really just gonna have to focus on work because that's it for days home without the kid for the week, without kids for the week. So I really only have the two, the two days. Just kind of like, thank goodness that I asked if my little one could go to school on Tuesday she had just missed so much school this year that's why I wanted to do it I didn't have like anything particular scheduled at that point but now it feels just like, much more urgent I'm gonna put that there that's super cute I'm gonna save that other little piece so Wednesday it's gonna be mostly work I don't really know what else is happening I think my I think my mother-in-law has a doctor's appointment and I think my husband is gonna take her. If you don't know, my mother-in-law uh, is had a really bad fall and she just had surgery and she's staying with us uh, while she is like healing, at least in this beginning part, and she's currently in a wheelchair, so, uh, so she can't drive. But uh, that is what's happening and I might have to take her, but I think my husband is going to. So we will see. It just kind of depends on his work schedule. I might like leave myself two blocks here with just remembering that that was my intention for this space. Most to put in some to do's or something like that. But I don't know what they're going to be yet. So I'm going to leave them blank and then I'm going to leave the bottom part blank for now. And then, then for Thursday, this is why we really have to try and like fully utilize our, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday is that well my the baby doesn't have school on Thursdays anyways but my big kid has a half day on Thursday no school on Friday and then all the kids are off on Monday and then all, I just in case you're like staring at the lines I don't know if you can even see them but I purposefully offset that one just so that it'd be closer to the sticker uh, if you want to line up the stencil, the Moxie Life one, or any other stencil that is not transparent or clear, and you don't know how to make sure that you're not like straddling the lines. If you use the silver part in between the two bullet points to cover up the line, then you're going to be perfectly aligned. And obviously, this is the Moxie Life stencil and the Moxie Life planner, they're perfectly aligned for each other. But the Moxie Life, the spacing on the lines and on the Moxie Life dot grid is six millimeters, so anything that is sized for that will work. And this stencil, which you can use on everything but if you want the line spacing on the checklist to line up then without having to slide the stencil up and down then as long as the line spacing on your planner is six millimeter it works which I actually believe that the A5 Erin Codron Daily Duo is. So beyond that I don't know that there's I don't know what's going on on Thursday so it's gonna be a little bit chaotic and then Friday again my big kid doesn't have school. So I don't, we don't have any plans over the weekend. My mom has said that she wanted 
the kids, the two big kids to come and stay with her overnight, which is eventually gonna happen, probably. Uh, that would be nice. And then I don't know what day that'll be yet though. We haven't picked. And then my uh, class that I'm taking is having, they don't usually have like weekend ones, but there's like a few throughout the year that and they're not like at a super convenient time for me, but if the kids are gone, I'll be able to go. So we'll see. And if not, they're recorded, so I can I can retake them. You know, I can watch them, but I always feel like you get more out of it when you're live. So I will put that in so that I know. And again, that will get much more fleshed out later because we will make all of the weekend plans. But I'm gonna put in some deco because I'm not gonna need all the space, particularly on the weekends. And I wanna use this other really jumbo sized floral on this on the weekend, kind of balancing out the, the Monday one. So maybe like that, that looks really pretty. This is such a pretty kit. So we're just gonna pop in some deco kind of throughout. And when I plan, I will just kind of work around what I've done with the deco. That's usually how this works. I don't wanna cover up too much functional space, but I know that I won't need like all of this space. I really love these little postage stamps. They're just not we're sure where to put them. And you also have this cute little house. I mean, Saturday, like literally all I'm gonna write is you know, whatever plans we end up making. Sunday is usually a little bit more functional of a day, but I can squeeze it in right under the call. Oh, actually, I won't even need to because Monday is a Monday is a school. So actually, I might even just put that in as like a little reminder. Maybe I'll use this little tag. And that means that like a lot of our Sunday usual stuff, laundry, meal planning, meal prep, you know, not all of it needs to get done on Sunday in case we have like fun plans or want to do something different. I just kind of stick that stamp right there. And likewise, here, I just think they're very pretty. And I'll work a lot of the florals into the spread later in the week, etc. I just had to walk away for a second uh, to help my mother-in-law with something and then come right back. And I have no idea what I was talking about, but I just want to say that I am so obsessed with the spread already. Uh, I feel like what I was saying was about like working the deco in, more deco in throughout, but I think that's all of the plans that I have for right now. And yeah, mostly I'm just gonna be really focused on work for next week. I think I wanna stick something little right there. There's some little pieces of deco. Maybe this bow, cause it's kind of like a reminder. Oh, and I was gonna highlight that too. That'll make it pop a little bit more. Yeah, that, that fits perfect. I love planner valentines. And by that, I mean, the kits, the, the pink, the washi, all of that. I it's not my it's not my holiday in real life. I'm not a fan. We don't really like do anything to celebrate, which is totally cool with me. But in my planner, you will see. I mean, if you've seen my monthly spread, you know, I just want all of the pink, all of the hearts, all of the everything in my planner. I love the way it looks. So I think that is it for where I'm gonna leave things today. In video time, I will be back in just a couple of seconds. In real time, I will be back after our ski weekend. So you will get to hear about that while I do some meal planning and plan out some more days and to do's in here based on what's going on. And again, you will get to see every time that I touch this planner throughout the week, unless I'm just like checking things off, which I may not turn on the camera for that, but you'll get to see the whole thing and how the whole weekly spread comes together. So if that sounds good, Good. Stay tuned for just a second. Okay, I am back. It is Monday afternoon and we had a really, really nice, super fun little weekend vacation. Skiing was amazing. The kids did so well. I had a blast and I just did meal planning. We got our groceries. We got all of this stuff done and I actually also did the laundry, so I'm feeling really good tomorrow. Lots of admin to catch up on and lots of work as well. I don't have too much to add right now, but I do wanna add in my meal plan for the week. That way it's all in, because I just got that done while I was unpacking the groceries, which is usually how I do my meal planning. And tonight we're gonna have some tuna steak, so. Definitely wanted something a little bit lighter and more fresh after the weekend and eating out all weekend. So we're gonna have some tuna tonight. Sounds really good. And then tomorrow I already took out uh, some flank steak. On 
on Thursday we will have takeout back to our usual schedule and I will put in whatever that's gonna be when we get to it and then Friday I didn't actually meal plan but I uh, do know what vegetable we're gonna have because that will be the last fresh vegetable so I do actually just want to put that in so that I don't forget so I will put in something and then we'll have that something with cauliflower on Friday Okay, so I uh, mistook that day, but I when I, I did a bunch of laundry today, and I'm done doing laundry for today, but I actually realized I missed some of the kids' clothes, so I'll do laundry again on Wednesday, and then I also need to call my dad about some money stuff on Wednesday as well, so I'm just going to put that in, and then... Uh, I think that should be it. We'll see like what I get done work-wise tomorrow before I plan out anything for for Wednesday with regards to that. But basically I need to just get as much work done Tuesday and Wednesday as possible because those are the only two days without kids home this week. Yeah, I'll probably finish this out tomorrow when I like get through the rest of my admin list and I'll see how I'm feeling about Thursday and the rest of that situation when I make some weekly make some weekend plans for the long weekend but I think that is gonna be it for right now in here so again in video time I will be right back it is Wednesday afternoon and I'm back to add a couple of things in I also realized I have not uh, checked in with my habit tracker at all this week so we can go ahead and do that Tuesday I was pretty slow getting out of bed but Wednesday I did okay and then Monday I realized I probably shouldn't have put that one because that was a vacation day so I'm not gonna bother checking that off I did a really good job yesterday with the time blocking and stuff today not so hot I did a really good job this morning and then I spent the entire afternoon reading and just lazing about and I don't know what else uh did good with pending lists we're on doing that right now kids routine has been pretty pretty decent uh water I don't know about Monday I don't really remember but I feel like I've done a pretty good job with that and it's very clean here and I have absolutely been getting to bed on time which is nice okay so this is done as well we've kind of been circling the birthday stuff by feel a lot better about that. I've been talking to my husband, talking to the kids, everything. Uh, okay. So today I did, I worked in the morning, so that was fine. The laundry, I just remembered that I put that in this morning. So the same load has been sitting in the washer, but that's okay. I will flip that over when I go back downstairs to leave. I did call, I did call my dad though. Okay. The other thing that I did today, which I do want to put in because it's a little more not something that I've been doing a really good job with lately is I actually did a yoga video this morning which it felt really good and it was honestly a pretty wonderful way to start the day I did that before I started work uh the energy did not carry through post lunch where I said I was gonna sit down and like read for 20 minutes and then that turned into like two hours but I did do a yoga video uh, in the morning which was nice uh, and then that's the only thing left for today that I'm gonna put in on that sign and add in a little bit of florals there. I don't need the rest of the space. This Wednesday is, is ending. So then that's it for Thursday. Okay, tomorrow I want to go to Target and I want to go to the good Target, like the one that is not close, not as close to our house, I should say. It's not like far. Also, I swear, the only reason I stopped reading is because I finished the book and then I immediately went to like go, it was the second in a series and I immediately went to try and download the third, but because the second one had been available like immediately on the library and the third one, there was a wait for it. And that's the, literally the only reason that I stopped reading. And I was like, <laughs> probably not the best thing that I need to, I mean, it's fine. I, I'm happy that I was enjoying the book, but I have a lot to do and uh, I probably should not have taken a reading book, a reading break in like a good part of a book. Live and learn. All right. So then I, what I really want to do is pick up, I have some things in mind uh, for like table mate gifts. 
so I want to go to Target and that which is why we're gonna go to the good Target and not the bad Target and my gifts have like a theme and we're going with it and yeah I am excited so that's what we're doing uh I'm pretty sure I'm actually even just gonna put it in we've already discussed that we will be getting sushi tomorrow night and usually we eat after the kids have gone to bed but my oldest is like a sushi fanatic and actually the baby loves it too uh and I she has been like asking for it non-stop and my mother-in-law here and she and everything we just figured we'll eat with the kids and we'll just have a big sushi night and I will admit to getting like a it, it brings me like a lot of joy to watch small children eating things that seem like a grown-up food like sushi which my son not not as much but the other kids really really like and they all really love fish and especially shellfish and we eat a lot of fish during the summer especially but i would say like in a probably compared to average and above amount above average amount of fish and i we ate a lot of fish growing up as well uh and yeah that just brings me a lot of joy <laughs> Okay, so today in the afternoon, I did have like a couple of things that I wanted to do. Nothing as serious as my work, but other things, but I didn't do them. And I'm hoping that I uh, will, can still kind of get to them tomorrow. And um, a lot of this is around, I have like a, a lot of unedited footage on my phone. And I also have some things that I need to get done for, for brands. And I also need to finish editing and upload my YouTube video for Friday. So my big kid has no school on Friday. This is actually, I already, I, I do know what video this is going to be. It will have been a daily plan with me and that's good. And then I, I'm going to try and do just a couple of things requested some data for the consulting project that I'm working on. So I gotta make sure I follow up on that. I'm not too concerned if I don't get like planning routine stuff done on Friday, we should have plenty of time over the long weekend. And the last thing that I'm actually gonna put in is that my mom is taking the two big kids for sleepover uh, Saturday to Sunday. So that will give us, that will give me some time as well. I feel like that either needs to be closer or farther, but I don't know if I can get it up. So I might just do it like that. Okay. Maybe I'll just say like, check in with the planners and planning. Kind of like update the lists I'm working on and all that kind of stuff. Just have like a big check-in section session. Like I said, can put in a nice little bold full box, half box here. That for some reason goes super well with this mailbox. So that's what we're gonna go with. That actually looks really, really cute. I like that. So she's actually coming, I think in the morning to get them and then she's gonna keep them until Sunday afternoon, which should free up lots of space to do other things and takes care of a lot of the plans I needed to make. There will be other stuff going on. I'll still make some other plans, which I haven't done yet, but I feel like that is pretty good. So I am gonna leave that there and I will be back probably just one last time to finish out the weekly spread. Okay, it's Sunday and I'm back for my last check-in. We did, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is put in my meals for the rest of the week and we did end up swapping the veggie on this day. So I will fix it. Obviously I don't need to, but it's fine. Uh, that's why white out exists. Okay, so we had the cauliflower this night because I ended up grilling, which was amazing because um, I love grilling and I haven't done it in so long because I'm not a person who will like stand out there and grill in the cold weather, but it's been super, super warm lately. So that's been great. So then on Friday we had uh, on, I'm going to skip Friday because I can't remember right this second and I just, I'm going to go check. But on Saturday we had, and then tonight we are grilling again because again it is warm and we are having tacos. And we've got some extra space in here so we can add in a little bit of deco. We did so much baking this week, so I feel like those cupcakes are actually just kind of perfect. Don't know if I was just channeling this kit, which has a lot of like little Valentine's sweets in it, but we did a lot of baking this week. Okay. <laughs> so then what are we working with here? I haven't checked in with my, and I did nothing on Thursday and Friday. I had 
I just I spent a lot of time reading. I actually ended up reading four books this week. It was a big week of not feeling super great and avoidance and Thursday I spent like half the day in bed and anyway you will hear more about it on my next plan with me but I had like started all this work stuff and then it ended up getting put on pause so um and like scrambling and moving th things around and then not feeling super great and then yeah just kind of took it real easy on Thursday and Friday. I do feel like my water intake has been really good this week though and the kids not Friday but good Thursday. House is very clean uh, I did not bedtime yesterday, but I think I, oh, well, I just marked it off for tonight. So let's make sure I get in bed. I definitely did not do time blocking and we're definitely on that. Okay. So what do I want to put in? So my mom took the big kids, then they came back. I did a ton of planning today, like just lots of planning. We had a really nice day and I still did meal prep, a meal planning on meal prep and stuff tomorrow. And then on Saturday, I was actually able to get a little bit of work done, which was good. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of squeeze some stuff in. Getting a little bit back planning with it, but that's fine. So my husband did groceries today and then I did the meal planning already. So I feel like ahead knowing that tomorrow everyone's off as well. And those things are done and tomorrow I'll definitely have to do laundry, but that's like the only thing left from the Sunday usual routine that needs to be done out and meal prep, I guess. But I will do a meal prep as well, but we're feeling all good. Just grab a little last deco. We had a pretty chill weekend, but the kids had a lot of plans. Uh, which is even better because I felt like I really needed to rest again. I was not feeling 100% well. I feel so much better now. I'm not sure if things just caught up to me and I had like a little bit of a cold, but it seems like fingers crossed or knock on wood, whatever you want to do, that I've been able to kick it, which is good because I have been sick so much this year. Uh, but but the kids have had fun and, um, you know, they did some stuff, some like indoor activities with my mother-in-law who's again... Uh, who has been having a lot of fun with them, doing like a lot of Legos and stuff, and they, the big kids went with my, with my mom, so they had a lot of fun uh, doing the sleepover, and my husband took the the baby out with her today w without. And my husband took the baby out with him today when he did the errands, so that was nice. So I had a little bit of extra time, which is. I feel like. Maybe the back half of the week is more decorated than the first, but we can pop in some florals on the other side and we've got some space up here too. I'd really like to use this balloon, um, but I'm not sure how that's gonna fit perfectly. And I might even just put, I was just like honestly reading in bed and sleeping all day. Oh, and I did a lot of baking actually on Friday and on Saturday. I baked with the with the baby on Saturday and I baked with the big kid on Friday. We made muffins, we made cookies, and we made focaccia bread. And the focaccia bread came out so, so good. It's just a lot of reading day. And then, so maybe I'll just put that in. Ugh, I love a busy spread and the fun part about like decorating it after is it's didn't it, you know this is very busy but I'm already through the week it's Sunday I don't need this planner anymore so I can just make it look really pretty take a minute play with the stickers have some fun and I, it was very functional for me all week as well and I've just remembered what we had for dinner on Thursday on Friday I'm using the wrong pen though. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. I was like, am I really gonna have to go downstairs just to finish this spread out? But no, I remembered we are all good. I wanna add in just a couple more flowers and then I will call it a day here. All right, that is everything all finished up and I absolutely, absolutely love how this looks. It's really a very pretty spread. Perfect for my favorite planner holiday. I hope you enjoyed getting to watch the full week of planning. If you did and you wanna see more of these videos, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'll show you what I have left from the kit right now. So just like a bit of deco, etc. I will put that in my leftovers de stash pile. But yeah, this was just so fun to plan with. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. You can also check me out on Instagram and TikTok at My Crafty Plans for even more planning fun, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!